Hey guys, what is up, Lambie here? Welcome to a Pokemon fan game that recently called came out called Pokemon Legends, I'm pretty sure it's called. I don't know, I'm doing a voiceover. Uh, basically, this is my journey of why I played it for an hour. I will have final thoughts at the end, but of course, let's get into it. As you can tell, I chose Bulbasaur as my starter just because in the original Kentonian games, it's always the best Pokemon to start out with. And I got a tutorial on how to make it follow me, which I'm pretty sh which it's pretty cool that you can actually have it follow you. And it's a feature in this game to where you can actually click the objective and you can go straight to it, but I tried to minimize it as the clicking as much as possible. So anyway, um, I did a tutorial, all that stuff, basically all the normal Pokemon game stuff, if I Rattata, all that kind of stuff, and both are learning to move. Straight away, if you look, there's a bunch of stuff on the hub. In the top left, there's the Hoenn Brandon, there's coins, gems, whatever that is, and a bunch of little things that try to make it to where, try to, it's like basically they're trying to get you to um buy, buy stuff so i fought casey for the first time at, like basically there yeah, i fought her a bunch of times but this is the first time i easily took it down with her squirtle all down with the fine whip and both are grew to level seven and i got three stars yeah and then apparently she just made a mistake it won't happen again you know that kind of stuff so i went and i tried my best to actually go and look for where I needed to be. Maybe I go and talk to the mayor. So apparently that was actually correct. And he sent me on a, like a journey to learn how to capture Pokemon. But of course I didn't see that. So I would, would just run around like an idiot. Until I eventually seen that. And I was kind of confused on where I needed to go. So of course I looked. I didn't click it. I looked. And looked. And looked. And... Oh, hey, I found it. I do want to let you know that there will be more live commentary, but I just was not talking at all in this, like, little beginning area. There's a bit of talking in the battle. Alright, uh, hopefully it's not Rattata. Oh, it's a Pikachu, let's go. Can I just throw a ball? Okay, where's my back right there? Like ball? I don't even have any. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want. It should have 100% capture rate. Yeah, let's go. For some reason, I just could not find Professor Oak. I think it's a bug in the game, but he just did not appear from right there. Also, I found this Bell Sprout. I'm not really big fan of Victory Bell, so I never actually caught it. I just used Tackle on it. After deciding if I wanted to use Pikachu, I decided not to. Decided not to catch it. I just used Tackle. And I one tapped it. Okay, fine. I two tapped it. But whatever, right? <laughs> uh, so I went and I looked around for Professor Oak. And I picked that up, hoping it was a potion. But it was a berry juice. I ran this way into what looks like Iggy Town. Nothing like Palatown. Uh, and I just could not figure out where the heck he was. So I ran back to where the grass was because I figured maybe he'd be there. And guess what? And it's right here for real. At this point, I, uh, I sped it up to 10 times speed because uh, it took forever for me to find this youngster. I uh, also it's kind of scuffed like that area where I actually got into the battle. But and then I wanted to look around but it took me forever to find that youngster like mm, I'm honestly embarrassed to say it. But I got it. It probably took like 10 minutes, but I eventually found him. Learned a new move. Leech Seed. 
this one didn't take me nearly as long. Is this not it? It is. Let me talk to you. I don't even know what he said. I didn't read it. My god. A roll. You have a roll from Jealous. I'm gonna leave seed. I'm gonna leave seed stall. So. Misty terrain? That battle went sort of well. Uh, the mystery terrain definitely helped Ross's um, fairy type move against my poison type Bulbasaur, so I was forced to swap into Pidgey, but eh, what's done is done. Benefits is unlocked. Continue slugging. Day one. <gasps> I get an Aerodactyl if I. I'm gonna play tomorrow. I ran around like a headless chicken forever. You're seeing a hundred times speed right now. School lovely. School lovely. There you are, Mr. Oak. I got a Charmander out of a vending machine. I thought that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind a Charmander. Some stuff was happened while I progressed through the story. I fought, um... KC for the second time, a uh, Team Uncle Grunt, two of them actually, a uh, Team Magma Grunt. I'm gonna skip over the KC fights because it's just too many and they're all boring. And then this happened. As long as I'm the mayor, Peloton is more and more prosperous. You're gonna be a, <gasps> a fledgling? <laughs> you already know I'm going for it. Oh, first try, let's go. Yeah, I put it asleep and caught it right away. I I'm did this entire little story thing about a ghost Pokemon, but I'm only gonna include the last fight because it was the most difficult for sure. Leave, don't, don't come back. The sick Casey. Right, this is like it's right here. Yeah, so what is our goal? I do actually want to. She sent out her ghastly. I figured this wouldn't be a problem because it's just a normal poison ghost type. But I did need to swap out. And I decided I wanted to swap out into my lovely Charmander. I figured it's because it has smoke screen that I could lower its accuracy. And so that's exactly what I do. Or tried to. It used hypnosis on its first turn. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so I obviously I wanted to use do smoke screen sense thing, so I used a full restore on my Charmander because I did not want it to be asleep. Then it poisoned me right away with smog. Yeah, so um, I decided to risk it. They went for a scary face. I went for an ember. Knock smoke screen, and then. Poison kind of took me down, then a payback finished me off. And so I sent out my Fletch, my Squirtle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing this as I'm watching this. Anyway, Gasly used Hypnosis again. So I decided I wanted to try my best to tank out any move that they have. And Smog brings me a little above half. And then they went, made a mistake and went for scary face instead of using smog again. So I was able to get a bubble off and it actually knocked the ghastly. And then the Spurotom, this Spurotom was a pain. So I knew I couldn't stay in with Squirtle and Charmander was already down. So I decided that I wanted to swap into Bulbasaur uh, because Vine Whip. Yeah, they used Astonish, which didn't do much, but I did flinch. I, you, they used Astonish, I used Vine Whip, and, well, I'll just skip to the last, like, the end of the battle, because, spoiler alert, uh, yeah, Bulbasaur doesn't necessarily survive. I'm... I, I'm so lonely. Hey, they don't play with me. No way. I don't want to play tricks on pedestrians. It won't happen again. Well, well. Can you take me together with you to the I did a bit more story. I did a bit more battling. I did a 
bit more checking out the stuff that I could have but can't have. And there's a sweet cone over there. So I can't have it. That sucks. And then, honestly, after checking some more stuff out, moving around a bit, something pretty great actually happened. I'll let you check it out yourself instead of me telling you about it. Hmm? Let's go! I evolved all three of my Cantonian starters, and then I tried to evolve my Fletchinder after spending 200 gems just to be able to evolve it. I wasn't even able to. Do you want to know why? Well, here's why. I'm going to my computer, go to Fletchblade, and evolve it to Fletchinder. Hi, oh, we're calling level 17. The rest was pretty boring. I was gonna shiny him, but I decided against it. Here's just like the end. Okay, I've decided something. I want to say shiny on for the next video. Because I still I have a lot of things to go through in this one. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. Pa pause. Um, you can't really hear me in these outros, so I'm just going to do the outro myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was had a bunch of fun making it. If you want to see something more like this, let's get this video to unspecified amount of likes. And here are my final thoughts. I had a lot of fun making this video, like recording it. Um... There are some problems, like, the game is kind of buggy, but you should remember that this is early, an early access game, so there's bound to be bugs, but other than that, it's actually a pretty fun game, so I can't wait till tomorrow when I get that Aerodactyl. Alright, peace.